Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Melissa. So, I have unboxings for you. So, I believe this one is my Aquatar uh, box from the Bookish box. Um, I'm really excited about this one. And then I got the Dreamy box from Dreamy & Co. And then I believe this is March's Bay Crate. So let's get into these. I think I'll start with Bay Crate. Um, I'm hoping nothing is broken because my box came kind of really like smashed and battered. I don't know if you can see that, but I'm hoping it, nothing in here is broken. And if I'm correct, I believe this is March's box. Um, I can't remember. I believe I ordered March's box. Okay, so there we go. Here is the wearable. And it's, oh yeah, that's why I ordered this box because there was a shirt in here that was inspired by um, the uh, Stock and Jack Ripper series. And this says, Dr. Jonathan Wadsworth Mortuary Laboratory of Forensic Science. That is super cool. I like that. That is so cute. Okay. I'm really worried about this. I think this is the snow globe. I'm hoping it's not. Oh my gosh, it's not. It's not broken. We're good. We're good. That is so pretty. I really need to read this series, but this is the Strange to the Dreamer snow globe it has like the dragonfly on there and then it has city of wheat this is really pretty <sighs> don't mind my dogs barking that is so cool i i love snow globes and this is not why i bought the box i bought the box for the stock and jack the ripper item but this is really cool this is really neat <laughs> i never got a snow globe in a box so well done day great <laughs> So the next thing I am seeing is it looks like a little um, necklace, but it's like a like a pocket watch. That is super cute, and it actually works. That is so cool. That is really neat. I like that. That's really pretty. Don't mind the dogs; they're going crazy. Okay, here's a patch. It says, you can only win by playing a steep price. I'm not sure what that's from, so I'll have to look at the spoiler card. I haven't quite gotten there. And then, oh, there's a magnet of Claire and Jamie Frazier. Isn't that cute? And then there's, I'm um, assuming this is, yep, it's a sticker. It says, every person has the power to change their fate if they are brave enough to fight for for what they desire more than anything. It, is that a night circus quote? Either that or it's carnival. I, I'm not sure which one. And here is the snapshot. It says males are horrible creatures, aren't they? I'm, I'm not sure what this is from. So then it looks like we get, um, it's a like sticker, it looks like a signed, a signed book plate, maybe. I don't know. It feels funny. And then, what is this? Is this like a little record? Like two little records in here The Wedding, Night Sonata, and then I don't know how to say the other one. There they are. I'm not sure what those are. And then we get this really pretty art print. And I don't know who, oh, this is the spoiler card. Okay, so there's the art print. And then let's see. So this is inspired by Air Awakens. Oh, okay. This is an Akatar poloid. Pol uh, I can't even say it. Um, it's Armand um, and Kazian. 
That's really cool. And then um, it's a carnival sticker. And then this is a winter song record record coaster set. Okay, so they're coasters and it's from Winter Song. That's actually really unique and interesting. I never got coasters that look like records. Okay, that's really cool. And then the Iron On Patch is from Winter's Curse. So I haven't read that series at all. And then, let's see. This is like a little promotional of Give the Dark My Love um, by Beth Revis. Revis. Um, and it's got like some like recommendations on the back. And the book is Vortex Visions, Air Awakens Vortex Chronicles Book One. So do you have to read Air Awakens to read this book? Because I would hate to have to... Oh my gosh. That is gorgeous. Then it also has like the artwork on the inside of the dust jacket. That is really, really pretty. And it's like, you can't really see the texture of the book, but it's like striped and it's so pretty. That is, that is gorgeous. Um, if you guys have read the Air Awaken series and know if you have to read that one before you read this one, let me know because honestly, I don't really know. I really don't want to read it, read it or read the synopsis unless I know for sure. So, but it's a really cool cover. It's really cool. So I'm really excited about it anyways. It looks like it has something to do with maybe fairies or something. I don't know. But yeah, I'm really excited. This box was awesome. I love the unique little stuff they added to it. It's really cool. So let's move on to... I want to get into this one. This is, I believe, from the bookish box, and it should be the Equitar. Um, oh, there's peanuts in here. Which my cat is going to get everywhere. Oh, no, this isn't... Oh, this isn't, it's a candle from Spidey Sense. Okay, I love these candles. Here, I was thinking it was my Akitar box, but no, this is the monthly candle from Spidey Sense, and it's the King of Scars one, and it says, uh, face your demons or feed them, and it's blackberry, citrus, and sea salt. Oh, it smells so good. And it's got like gold sparkles on it. It smells so good. All her candles smell so amazing. I don't know how she does it. But I forgot I had ordered this one. So I'm really excited to have this one. So. Alright. Moving on to the dreamy box. So now you know my Akatar box is coming in the mail. So you'll see that one soon. So this one is the Defy Me crate. And it's all inspired by Shatter Me. And I'm so excited. Ain't that artwork so pretty? And this is the spoiler card, which I'll get into later. So the first thing on top is a pillowcase. Books are easily destroyed, but words will live as long as people can remember them. Oh, this is beautiful. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. I love this. I love pillowcases. Bookish pillowcases are like my favorite thing to get because I just love switching out all my pillows every now and then and just kind of making it different. I just, I love bookish pillowcases. So I'm so excited about this one. Then we get a candle and it's Kenya. Oh, I love him. Mountain air, clean water, and citrus. Oh gosh, he smells good. Mm, he smells good. And there is the label. Are you in my box? And here is the pin. It says, I grieve nothing, I take everything, ignite. 
Look at that. So pretty. Oh, I love it. Daddy. And then we get a button, and it's Kenya. Oh, he's, oh, I love him. He's so funny. He's Is like I... one of my favorite characters in the series. I just love, he's so sarcastic and just so funny. Yeah. All right, then we get down to like the art prints and stuff. Yeah. Ow, Luna. That was my knee you poked. Uh -huh. So... The, we always get a wood mark, and this one says, I've been screaming for years, and no one has ever heard me. And then on the back it says, I'm oxygen, oxygen, and he is dying to breathe. And then the next, the other bookmark you get is like a taller bookmark. And it's like this buttery feel, vel velvety type feel of a bookmark. And it says, hope is a pocket of possibilities. I am holding it in my hand. And then on the other side, it says, truth is a painful reminder of why I prefer to live among the lies. So pretty. I love all their artworks and designs. They're just so pretty. And then it looks like we have... Um, oh, like two character cards, I'm assuming. And I'm assuming maybe this one's Warner. And then the back is kind of like this really cool scroll design. And then I'm thinking this one is Juliet. And then it's kind of the same on the back. It's just a different color. I'm just going to double check and make sure that I'm right. Um, because, uh, yep, Warner and Juliet. I thought so. They're really pretty. And then we get the big art print and it says people seldom realize that they tell lies with their lips and truths with their eyes all the time. And that one's really pretty. And then on the other side it says all I ever wanted was to reach out and touch another human being, not just with my hands, but with my heart. That is so cute. Oh, I love this box. It was awesome. As always, I love getting the dreamy box. Every month, it's always something that I look forward to, and it's reasonably priced, so it's not like super spendy, and you just get such cute stuff in there. So anyways, that was it for my bookish unboxing. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys thought of any of the stuff that I've received today. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe if you would like to see more from me. Stand back. Go on. Nobody wants to see your nose. Um, and then, uh, thank you. And then, as always, um, all my links to social media are in the box for you guys to find me elsewhere. So, that is all I have for you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.